Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video we're going to bring you guys another quick Adobe After Effects tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over the Warp Stabilizer plugin that was introduced in version CS 5.5. And what that essentially does is it lets you take any shaky, unstable, handheld footage and it allows you to stable it out and make it a little bit more cinematic and a little bit less shaky and a little bit less amateur. So in order to do this, you're going to need the latest version of After Effects. For me, I'm going to be using version CS 6, but you can use any version of above CS 5.5, so CS 5.5 or newer, you can use any of those versions. It will not work in any older versions of After Effects. So in order to do this, we're going to be using this clip as an example, and if I play that for you right here, as you can see, it's just a little clip that's a bit shaky. It's handheld footage that I took right outside my house, just as a little bit of an example for using this effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up in After Effects, and I'm just going to drag it into the composition. Now. I will note, first of all, that this isn't 1080p footage, this is uh, 854 by 480 I've resized it for the purposes of this video because for the sake of recording, 1080p footage would really slow down my machine, so just bear in mind with that. So this is our clip right here, and let's say we want to stabilize this using Warp Stabilizer. We want to do that first before we apply anything else to the clip, such as color correction, masks, or things and whatnot, because Warp Stabilizer will work around those and kind of screw your footage up if you have any other filters put on beforehand. So we want to apply Warp Stabilizer to this first. So we're going to go up to Effect, or make sure you have your clip selected first of all. So go up to Effect, go to Distort, and then go to Warp Stabilizer. Now, the first time you launch this up, it'll give you guys a dialog box that will just say that you, it'll probably go over all of the masks and things that you have, and then it'll prompt you to click Analyze. But for some reason, whenever I apply the effect directly now, it just goes straight into applying the effect, and I can't, can't just click, click Analyze manually. So let's apply the effect, and as you can see, it just starts analyzing, step one of two. Now, it'll start analyzing the clip, and that should take a while. And you'll have a little bit of a counter over here telling you guys how long this should take. Now ideally if you're using 1080p footage it'll take a lot longer but since I size this down it's uh, going quite a lot quicker. Now you have a couple different options over here, an option for stabilization, you can choose it to have smooth motion or no motion at all, and you have a slider here that lets you adjust how smooth it is. Now varying on what kind of shot that you have you might need to change this a little bit but I'm just keeping it at default for the time being. And you can change your various method, you can change your borders, all these advanced settings, and yada yada yada. I'm not really going to go into that right now, but now I should play this clip for you, but I'll play it for you guys in the background, just so that you guys can see the difference between the shaky clip and the non-shaky clip. So right now I'm showing you guys the original footage from that clip right now. As you can see, it's very shaky, very handheld, and now if I show you guys the final clip, I added some color correction to this by the way, as you can see it's a lot smoother and a lot less shaky. Now there are a couple downsides to this, so let's say you just drag it in and apply the default effect like you normally would without changing any of the settings right here. Now it does have the ability to distort and screw up your footage if you've done it a little bit too, like if you shot the footage wrong. I noticed this because I took a couple other clips where I was just walking with the camera willy nilly and that kind of made, the, made my footage have this kind of psychedelic wobble but then it stopped and smoothed out. So just bear in mind, don't have any quick turns or quick tilts and avoid trying to walk with the camera with walking steps and things because that'll distort your footage a lot. But other than that, just be sure to shoot your footage kind of stable. Don't try to like throw in the shakiest footage possible. So there are some kinks with it, but once you play around with them and shoot your footage the right way, you should have some really awesome, really smooth or more cinematic shots than you did before. I kind of rambled on there a little bit, but that's it for the tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for anything you want to see in the future, leave them in the comment section down below. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.